And then we end up dancing again very soon after. And honestly, it was, it was, it was pretty intense dancing. It was pretty intense dancing. Um, to the point where now I was, I got back home and I was like, damn, bro. <laughs> Yeah, they loving you down, huh? All they screaming is go take and shit we up now. Yeah, all they saying is okay. What's going on, guys? Just secured the last whip of my trip. I leave tomorrow. Secured a Dodge Challenger. Uh, don't remember what year this is. Maybe 2020 or something like that. But yeah, just secured. Secured that joint for me. Uh, literally, honestly, only bought this car for this date that I'm about to go on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's really in an hour. And... I just got here, I have to go get a couple of stuff and I'm gonna I'm just head out, honestly, head her area. Uh, yeah, just head her direction. But yeah, man, I really only got this car just for today, man. I'm, I'm just, I've just been on some reckless, impulsive stuff recently. But I mean, I like it, bro. I'm not even really mad at it, it is what it is. Like, I, I just wanted to live reckless, man. Like, why not? <laughs> Why not, man? It just it don't make sense. Why not to do the things that you find desirable? You know, I told Shorty, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to take you out to eat. Shorty said, where are you trying to go? I said, sure. You know what I'm saying? I told her I was trying to go. She said, all right. So I got the uh, Dodge Challenger, and I'm going to pick her up. Back at it like a crack addict with a bad habit. What's going on, y'all? We here. We got B-dubs, doing a little B-dubs, move bang. Just doing a little quick story time on... Uh, the the uh, situation I'm currently in right now. I've been in LA for a few days. Probably since like Sunday. Saturday. And I leave uh, tomorrow. Yesterday I went to this uh, Shea Butter party. Bree Green was there. I was zooted. So shout out Bree. But I saw this girl. She was just mighty scrumptious. Mighty scrumptious. Hmm? I'm a picky dude. Very picky. Everybody can't just get my my particulars. You know what I'm saying? So, now I've seen Shorty. After really my friend had, had put me on to the fact that, she, that her friend was there. He liked her friend. I was really feeling her friend. I was feeling her. But I'm a tactical dude, so... I have to like create my approach before I even like just went up and did it, you feel me? So eventually she bought herself or her friends and whatnot. I don't know, she bought herself her friends is dancing. She like sitting in the corner, swooped in, you feel me? So I'm really giving this story time just to cause I know it's like actually people out there that that don't know how to talk to girls and honestly that's been me at one time in life. I just started getting my confidence up because girls like confidence. That's one thing too. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, this, this, I'm definitely gonna tag this, like, how to get girls. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, mid, mid video, I literally just be thinking about different ways I can get more people to watch the video. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, so, yeah, so I'm like, I'm like, I pull up on her, I'm like, yo, what's your name? You know what I'm saying? So, you wanna make sure, you wanna make sure you ask them what, what's their name so you, so, you know, they feel like you care about their name. I'm, I'm looking mighty buttery right now. I'm not gonna hold you. But yeah, so, um, so they know that you care about like their name and whatnot, and who they are as a person. You know, your name don't really say who you are as a person, but at least you you making it you know known that you at least slightly care about their name, what their name is, right? So boom. After her name gave her gave, gave my name whatnot, woo. and uh, we started talking. What was what was we talking about? Um, actually, no, no. So boom, I told her told her my name, and then I was like, yo, uh, you was looking. He was looking way too delectable, so I had to come say something to you. You know what I'm saying? And make sure y'all read your the sources. From this, delectable is it's, it's not even really that the, the thick of a word, but it's a word that you know everybody's gonna say, "Oh, you're so beautiful, you're so gorgeous." You know what I'm saying? You gotta use words. You gotta think outside the box, bro. Like, you know, to me, I pull baddies because I think outside the box with every single one of my approaches. You feel what I'm saying? Even though that that approach is not the most complex, but even the certain word choice. You feel what I'm saying? Delectable. You know what I'm saying? looking exquisite you know what i'm saying so so that's that's a couple tips that you know I, i'm using these as as tips not that i'm like the 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 guru of pulling girls either you feel what i'm saying like i'm a, the i'm the relationship guy you know what i'm saying um if you couldn't tell by the vlogs in which i tell you about the 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 fact that i've been in relationships more than i've been single you know what i'm saying i'm the relationship guy so but at the same time i can pull girls you feel me like 
because in order to be the relationship guy, you have to be able to get girls. So I could pull girls and girls like me and whatnot. So, um, but yeah, so I said that, you feel me? She didn't hear it the first time, I keep it a stack, but I said it again in equal suave tone. And she was like, oh, okay, you know what I'm saying? And at that point, now I'm open. Now now, now everything is open. She, she's open to the conversation. So I forgot, honestly, what the next thing I said was. I'm a good freestyle. I just kind of freestyle, well, especially conversations. I'm an interviewer. So like freestyle conversations is just my thing. How did I pick such a beautiful sunspot? Like, th like the sun is baking off my skin right now. You see this? Good golly. Even the twist of, oh my gosh, let me stop before I do something crazy to myself that I shouldn't do, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, um, so uh, honestly, our conversation didn't even last that long. I just found out she, you know, what school she went to, what she liked, and what she did, uh, where she was from, ooh, bang, bang. But um, yeah, and her friend told her to dance, and she asked me to dance, and he was dancing. Um, you know, I'm a New Yorker, and you know, how we get down at the functions, you feel what I'm saying? The, 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 the waist comes out, you feel me? And she's from, she's from Baltimore, so, you know, I'm sure they get down too. Um, and she, and she goes, she, well, she goes to a HBCU. I'm not trying to tell y'all all the information of any girl I bring on the channel because that's too much information. But, um, yeah, so, yeah, I'm sure she knew how to, well, judged by how we did end up getting busy, she doesn't know how to get busy, you feel what I'm saying? And I like that. I'm not a person that goes to parties. I can wall hug at a party, but if we throw in butt, oh, yes, I'm there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If the throw, I'm Caribbean. But I don't, I'm not super Caribbean. The main thing that is Caribbean about me is the fact that the food that I like to eat and the fact that I like to pelt waste. You know what I'm saying? At parties, though. And I'm not like the guy that's in the middle of the floor pelting waste. I just want to find me a nice little shorty or multiple shorty. Honestly, if it's a, if it's a pelt waste party, I'm trying to get on multiple girls. I'm not I'm not there for to, to wife nobody. And um, I mean, yesterday I wasn't there to wife nobody either. It was just like, I just seen the baddie and, you know, I, I went after it. For me, I, I like competition. Uh, so if I see a baddie that, you know, I feel maybe, maybe uh, a little difficult to... to to get to i mean she's a pretty girl and no one else said anything there the whole time so maybe people were as intimidated and people can be intimidated girls i mean at one point in life i was intimidated by girls but at the same time like bro they're people too like they just have vaginas and that's just once you once you relinquish like that fiend of trying to get the vagina or trying to get whatever like for, trying to fulfill whatever sexual desire you have once you relinquish that and you just look at them as a person then they're easier to talk to and then and then you know anything can happen at that point you feel what i'm saying but yeah, so, uh, you know, we started dancing, whatever. Uh, she did a thing that, I mean, if you guys know, then you know, you know, like when maybe you don't feel like dancing anymore at that point with that particular person, you know, she kind of backed off and then went to go dance with her friends. And I was like, right, cool, you feel me? I've been in this position before. I ain't gonna stress it, you feel me? So I went outside to my homies who was outside and I chilled them for a little bit and I came back inside to the vibes. And then, you know, I was sitting, chilling, not not selling, I was standing, bobbing, you feel what I'm saying, doing a little one-two step. I'm not the guy, once again, in the middle of the party that feel like you need to be doing handstands, car wheels, and and, and, and jacking the boxes, you feel what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not out here doing all, all that. Um, I was just, just standing in my spot, you know what I'm saying, did my little, you know what I'm saying? This is genuine, you feel what I'm saying? Just genuine, like, you know, feeling the, feeling the, you know, I feel the vibes, feel the music, you feel what I'm saying? Hey, hi. hey yes, look, you know, that's how, that's how, that's how I get busy, you feel what I'm saying? No capo. So, um, damn, I do have like zero, zero time to. Damn. Anyway. Um, but yeah. Uh, um, yeah. So we do that. And in order, I'm standing there and she pulls back up on me with the Instagram ready. Like she tells me to put in my gram. So now at this point, you know, she feeling the kid clearly because um, when I walked away and left, maybe she thought I was leaving the party. So then when the fact that I came back, it was a warm, like, oh, snap, he back. Let me make sure I get his, get his grams. You know what I'm saying? But for me, I'm a person that like, bro, let's skip past all this nonsense. Let's get to the number. If, if we really feeling each other, let's get to the number. This gram stuff to where I got to get to the number later on. I'm not with none of that because I'm not going to put in all the effort. I'm, I'm really not. Like, I'm not finna put all this effort, but once I get back to New York, bro, I'm focusing on getting a bag just so I can come back here. So I can come back here or be able to keep traveling places because I like traveling places. 
and seeing new things, doing new things, experiencing new things, woo, bang, bang, all that stuff. So, um, yeah, honestly, if I didn't get the number, wasn't finna be going up there and doing all like, you know what I'm saying? The whole, you know, especially if I see you in person and we vibing, let's just skip all that nonsense, bro. I'm not with all that, you know, I'm really not. But, um, man's text me about my damn studio stems, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, let me, let me finish up this mood bang because I gotta go ahead and get inside and get up out of here. But yeah, so I'm saying mood bang, but I ain't even eat mm. B dubs. Yeah, so. Um, you ask her to gram and give her to gram. Still chilling. I, I didn't really bother her. And then she went to go check on her friend. And she was sitting. She was sitting um, in a certain spot. And she was alone again. I was like, oh, yeah, it's over. Time to pounce. When they alone, it's time to pounce. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When they alone, it's time to pounce. No cap. No cap. You know what I'm saying? When the shorties is alone, it is time to pounce. And that's on game. I get distracted very fast, I'm sorry. But yeah, um, yeah, she's alone. Pull back up on her. Uh, I was talking to her some more about um, you know, her and whatnot. Um, and after that, I don't know, I'm lying. I think I just straight up pulled up on her with the number. Like, I pulled up on her with the pad open. I was like, yo, I'm trying to hit you. Uh, you know, when I'm back in LA, ooh, baby. Like I said, I don't play these games. I don't play these, like, Graham games. I'm trying to get straight some number. If we feeling each other, straight some number. Right, so, you know, I get the number. Text her right then and there. Make sure she had the blue bubble. She did have the blue bubble. You know what I'm saying? At first, I thought she had an Android. I seen her phone earlier. I thought she had the Android. I don't know. My, nothing maybe I've what it came of that if you know he was on android time but uh, anyway yeah so um we or i get the number and then we end up dancing again very soon after and honestly it was it was, it was pretty intense dancing it's pretty intense dancing um to the point where now i was i got back home and i was like damn bro because <laughs> i'm a victim of this bro i've been at parties where a girl will dance her life away on my waist on my belt buckle will go crazy and now i try i try to like you know throw out a little like you know shoot a little steffy little clay joint blocked you feel what i'm saying with me i have to know if a girl wants me right then and there if i have to i have to be able to know if she if you want me enough to see me again if you don't want me enough to see me again then you only want me you feel what i'm saying and i'm not wasting my time you know i don't have time to waste on girls if i like a girl I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a make it known that I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? Woo, bang, bang, but I'm not finna put on put in hella energy to get you to like me. Cause I'm a likable dude. Like, a lot of people like me. So, you know, I don't need you to like me. I don't need to get you to like me. If you like me just off me, cool. If if I need to co work, uh, convince you to like me, then it's a big dub. You know what I'm saying? Don't let, don't, don't let anybody convince you that they have to, like, try to make you like them. You know what I'm saying? I can't even pronounce my words. Like, outrageously outrageous. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, yeah, folk. So, uh, yeah, we out here, man. Man, I'm heavily distracted, but yeah, uh, so, uh, this morning I hit her, I was like, I was like, yo, I'm trying, uh, what, you, what time are you free today? I'm trying to take you out to eat. And so, I was like, oh, what are you trying to, what are you trying to say me? You feel what I'm saying? She asked me, she asked me when I was, when I was at, uh, uh, LA Fitness, you feel me? So, I didn't get the message till later. Uh, and I told her, I found a spot. I told her while I was trying to take her and stuff. And she was like, all right, so, you know, that's what we're on the way to right now. So the story really ain't even done, but I'll just tell you about how we even got to this point where you may or may not see her on the vlog. Um, you know what I'm saying? But I honestly was going to buy another shirt, bro, just to really try to, you know, step out. Woo -woo. But I ain't really got that much stuff, bro. And I was going to, I only got that much time, A, and I don't really got that much stuff with me. I'm not going to. So, I'm not going to lie. Young nigga might just throw on. Throw on my good jeans. Throw on my good jeans and my loafers. EBN shirt called a day. Throw a little jean jacket on top of it. And we out. Just like I am right now. Cause I'm running late. Cause I'm black. And this is what I do. I run late, unfortunately. Maybe I shouldn't be black. Nah, I'm pretty good as a black person. People will probably watch me do this. And I look weird, but it's all good. Ooh.